If you're watching from a wealthy country, this might look normal. Here's why that map looks the way it does. First, history. Colonial extraction set up long-term disadvantage, borders set up long-term disadvantage. Second, institutions. Stable governments attract investment, property rights attract investment. Weak institutions scare it away. Third, human capital. Health turns populations into productive workforces. Education turns populations into productive workforces. Fourth, geography and resources. Landlocked countries face higher costs. Disease-prone countries face higher costs. Last, globalization and policy choices. Globalization amplifies differences over decades. Policy choices amplify differences over decades. Bottom line, it's not destiny. Policy and investment can shrink the gap. Want a quick stat? The top 10% control most global wealth that fuels the map you just saw.